Black Dahlia Murder, First Blood, and Despised Icon. Nice. Um, it's going to go a whole U.S. tour in support of the record supremacy, and that's called Monsters of Mayhem. It's going to be great. I think it's a great package of uh, old school metal, new newer metal, and hardcore, and I think it's going to be beneficial to all the bands to uh, get some exposure some, from some fans or some people that are into this kind of music to. Uh, that they've never seen before, you know what I mean? That's what that's the magical thing about when we put a package together like that. So it's gonna be great. Cool. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna open it. Yeah. I didn't go. No problem. You really that important? What's up? Thanks, bro. Oh, you're working soon. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> um, what are you listening to now? Anything new you want to tell the fans about? Well, to be honest with you, um, <laughs> we got on the bus every night to listen to classic rock, you know, it's the Stones and Woods and Paul and Kiss parties and ACDC and like that. Yep. And, and, you know, bands like Pat Travers Band and, uh, but we do, you know, we mix it up with the heavy stuff. We like the old school stuff. Everybody's older now. Yep. You know, mid-30s and stuff and, uh, just listen to a lot of suicidal tendencies and a lot of uh, old like DRI and stuff like that. Um, but you know, we definitely keep an ear to what's going on in the music scene for sure. And um, there's a lot of great bands out there still. And um, obviously, you want to do that also. If, you know, that's a very good thing to do if you're in a band and uh, as a musician writing music to keep up with the times with what's going on in the music scene. So. Definitely. Uh, Full Bone Chaos's record just came out. They're great. I think Unearthed over on the second stage are awesome too. First Blood is a great band, I think, in the hardcore scene right now. Terror is certainly doing their thing. It sounds the underground. Um, Shadows Fall, you know, all of our friends and yep. all, all the bands that are out there doing it. What made you become a musician? What age? Uh, Kiss, when I was six years old. I was blown away by that. And I had Kiss records. And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now because that just like blew my mind when I was a kid, and that's what made me get into music at such an early age. You know, by the time I was eight years old, uh, I had a record collection. You know, of you know, I was like Kiss and Stones, and then like I started to get into like heavy metal, and I found like you know the Molly Crews and the Bon Jovi's and all that, like in the early '80s, and then I, then I started getting some thrash metal, Slayer and Venom, Possessed, and all that, and that's where I found the hardcore scene. And um, I just kind of thought that hardcore scene was more personal level, more like you felt like you were one with the band. It wasn't like this rock star thing, you know. Like, there was, like the, 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 the hardcore scene, like the hardcore scene seemed like it was more in touch with, you know, the bands, especially with their fans. You know, just like hey, we're human beings, just like you getting up here and do this. And that's what really made me realize that hey, I can go do this. And I just started playing guitar around the time I was 14. And, Stuck to it, and you know, obviously, um, the opportunities arose, and uh, here I am today. What's your first guitar that you owned? Uh, it was a Fender Stratocaster, American made, 83. Nice. And, uh, <laughs> from then, I started playing Gibson, and I actually was playing some other. other I was doing Washburn and Fernandez for a while with the other bands because you some things, but now I'm back with these guys. I'm back playing Gibson and Marshall again, which is what I wanted to do. And, you know, that's. That's what all my heroes when I was trying to play is, you know, yep. kids and all that. And I just think that uh, everything else is an invitation to me. Cool. That's just my opinion. <laughs> yeah. All right. Who's the biggest internet person in the band? You guys pay attention to Jamie, it? for sure. Really? Now, Jamie's a very busy person. He like, does have bangers for all. Yep. He has bangers for all. He does still more records. He's got, you know, a breed, and he has his other, he has ice cream, and some mm -hmm. other that he does too. And um, he still books shows to this day. You know, obviously he's the one that's on the internet the most, networking, and uh, I don't know how he does it. <laughs> he's, he's an amazing guy, one of, one of my best best friends ever. I love him to death, but I, I just I don't know how he does it. He yeah, still, uh, keeps a, still keeps a cool head, and. Uh, He's doing a great job with everything. We're really proud of him. It's great to have one of our own up over there on TV too. So yep. that's, that's unbelievable. Cool. This is your time to add anything. Tell the fans anything. Anything you'd like to say? Add anything I missed. Well, I want. I appreciate the support of all the people who have been fans of all the events I've done in the past. Definitely, uh, of course, all the Hate Week fans. 
Uh, we want to say that the record's going to be out August 29th on uh, Roadrunner Records Supremacy. Go and pick it up and try to uh, get us in the top 10 in the book. We'll be the top 20 last time. Uh, in pre did. And, uh, we're just trying to um, try to keep going, trying to try to keep doing what we're doing, and uh, without compromise, you know, without having to be on the radio or you know, I mean, we're not going to fail this stream or anything like that. So the fan supports the most important. So we want to thank all them and thank you for the interview, also. No problem. Thank you. All right.